So you have a laptop and you're looking to extend it out to multiple monitors, or maybe you wanna add some extra USB ports, an ethernet wired connection. Well, I have a bunch of hubs here from Orii, and one of these might be exactly what you're looking for. I'm speaking to those watching right now that have no clue about any of this stuff. So I'll try to be as clear as possible, tell you which ones do what and what ports do what, because I know it might be a little bit confusing, but after this video, you'll be a whiz. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel where I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. If you like gadgets and gear and stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't be a stranger. Also, if this video helps you out in any way at all, hit that like button, I really appreciate that. I'll put links to all of the stuff that we're talking about down in the description. And Ori did send this to me and they're sponsoring this video because they know that there's a dire need of a half decent explanation of how these work and then in turn help you figure out which one is right for you and your computer setup. You have this one right here, the SX2W, 1080 and if you look on the, the device it has two HDMI outputs so when you plug this thing in you have output number one and output number two and then on the other side you actually have a USB 2.0 for USB a connection and then there's also a PD 3.0 which actually gives you power so if you only had one port to charge your laptop this can plug in and then you can also plug that in as well to charge that laptop. You can get video resolutions all the way up to 4K 60 Hertz and that also includes audio. And something like this might be the only thing that you need. So if you wanna go out to two different monitors, plug this thing in, you have that extra USB-A and then the USB-C for powering your device. And to make it even more simple, you don't have to download or install any drivers. You can just plug it in and it's ready to go. It's as simple as that. But let's get a little bit more complex. This one right here gives you two outputs. So you plug this thing in with USB-C, but it also comes with this USB-C to USB-A adapter. In case you didn't have a USB-C port, you can do it that way. It also has that PD 3.0 where you can charge it as well. And then there's this little spot where you can tuck this thing in. So if you're traveling, you can just kind of keep that right there. Now this one is a little bit more powerful and you have to download the drivers to your computer to make it work. But you can get that same 4K 60 Hertz. You can even take it one step further and get a ultra widescreen 4K as well. You can get multiple hubs like this and plug it in. And with that, you can connect up to eight monitors on Windows and six monitors on Mac, just with like three of these. And if you did have six screens, that would be uh, pretty amazing to see. Now the downgrade of that would be something like this. It does have that USB-A connection or you can attach it with that USB-C connection, which is on there. Now with this, you don't get that charging port and uh, you only get 1080p on one and you get 4K 30 Hertz on the other. But maybe you just have a standard HD external monitor and maybe you have a 4K one, that actually would be great. So you can have one that's higher resolution and just one that you kind of put like notes and stuff on the other. But it's uh, nice and could be very handy for you. Now taking a step further, check out this one right here. This is the SX4C 4K 1080 and this can help you connect up to four different monitors where you have a DC five volt right here in the back you can plug that in it does require power so it's not drawing power from your computer and that's a good thing because otherwise it'll make your computer a lot more sluggish but you do have that USB a to plug into your computer or you can use the adapter that comes with it that goes to USB C so you plug that in and then you actually have a little display screen right here that you can say which monitors you want to display. Now, two of them are 1080p and then two of them are 4K 30 Hertz. So again, if you only have two HD monitors and you wanna run it to that, and then you have the two high-end ones, you can run it over to that way. Now, this is compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and 4, and you do have to download the driver for this, but also, if you have two of these, you can connect up to eight displays. I can't imagine having eight displays, but if you're a gamer, if you someone that does a lot with needing multiple windows, that would be a, a very good asset with all that screen real estate that you get. All right, now before we get to the big guy right here, we're gonna look at this one. This is the powered UHDS 102. And this thing is like, it's like metal. It's a strong build. It does come with a power cord. So you're gonna plug that in. You have your HDMI in, so you can go out of an HDMI source into this. And then you have two HDMIs out. And both of those HDMI outs are 4K at 60 Hertz with a video bandwidth of 18 gigabytes per second. So let's just say even for a game console, so you could plug in like your Xbox into this and then you can go out of that into two different monitors. But even like just if you have a laptop already that has HDMI out and you wanna go out of that into two different monitors, you could plug that
that into here and then go out the, to those two different monitors. So you have the smart EDID or standard, which is 1080p mode, and then you have TV or copy out. There is a built-in equalizer, retimer, and driver, so you don't need to download any drivers for that. So again, if you're looking to go out of an HDMI source into this, going to two different monitors, this is a great one to get. But now let's jump up to the big guy here. This thing is crazy. This has everything you'll ever need in a hub right here. This is the SX SC 4K85. So it plugs in to your USB-C port for Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4. And then you're gonna need to download the drivers for this because it's actually gonna send out audio signals and it's also gonna do two HDMI outs or display port out. There's a lot of monitors out there that only take display port and display port actually is a little bit better of a signal as well. So if you do have that, you can use it. But you also have a LAN ethernet port. So if you need to be hardwired into the network, sometimes if you're in an office, you have to plug into the ethernet there, or maybe your Wi-Fi isn't as good so plugging in direct is a lot more solid of a connection if you're live streaming that is very helpful there then you have two usb 2.0 ports which means like slower speed if you have like a keyboard that you want to plug in or a mouse you can plug that into there then you have USB 3.0, where it gives you a lot more speed to it. So you can uh, plug in like flash drives or hard drives. That way you, when you're transferring files over, it'll be a lot faster. Next to that, you have that display port, and then you have the two HDMI ports, and that will give you those extended monitors, and you can set that all up in your computer through the uh, software that you download. And those HDMI ports give you up to 4K 60 hertz, and same with that display port. Now, if you wanted to do triple displays, you can using that display port and those two HDMIs. However, the max resolution has to be downgraded to 1080p, 60 Hertz for all of the monitors. There is a USB-C powered in where you can plug this into the wall. That way when this is plugged into your computer, it will be charging it all together. On the other side, you have USB 3.0 for another fast USB device, another flash drive, another hard drive. Uh, maybe it's a webcam or something like that. Next to that, you have a micro SD card slot, which is great if you have like action cameras um, where you have that small little TF card that you need to put in there. And then next to that, you have a bigger SD card reader. So if you have a bigger camera where it takes that SD card, uh, you could pop that in there, which is really handy. And then next to that, you have an audio port, which is a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can use headphones and it, you can connect a microphone to it, so it does both. So if you have one of those headsets that have a microphone to it, you can plug it into that and it will read it nice and fine. Something like this would be perfect to sit on your desk, so when you bring your laptop in, you can just plug that in and then everything is already plugged into it, so you'll be ready to go. But that's the gist of it. You just have something to plug into your computer, especially some of those newer computers that only have one or two ports available. And then once you're charging, you're taking up one of those ports already. So hubs like this are a great way to extend out your computer and give you a lot more screen real estate. And so we've looked through some of the small ones and some of the big ones. And hopefully you know a little bit more about what these things can do. And if you're looking to extend your screen on your computer, well, I think you'll know which one to get. And that all depends on what else you need to be plugging into your computer if you need more ports other than just the HDMI out. There we go. Hopefully I was able to explain that easily enough for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sometimes it's fun to deep dive into some of these products and see what they do. So hopefully you enjoyed it if you've made it this far. If you want to see some other cool videos that I've done on this channel, check out some of this cool gear. I'll put some videos on the screen and you can click one of these and I'll see you there.